We've all been there, standing at a party, holding a plate with something delicious on it, but no one wants a bite. Why? Maybe they can't see past your thumb covering most of the food. Maybe the lighting is bad. Your writing is like that party food, and the introduction is how you present it. A good introduction is like a warm invitation, a brightly lit room, a welcoming smile. It makes the reader want to take a bite, to delve deeper into what you have to say. Think about the last time you got hooked on a book. What was it about the beginning that drew you in? Was it a question? A surprising statement? Leave a comment below and tell me about a book that grabbed you from the first page. I'm always looking for new recommendations. Each section of your writing is like a new room in a house. Imagine walking through a beautifully designed home. Each room has its own unique character and purpose, yet they all flow together seamlessly. You wouldn't just walk into a room without any context, would you? You'd want to know what to expect, what the room is for and why it's important. You need a doorway, a transition, a sense of arrival. This is where the magic of a well-crafted section introduction comes into play. That's what a section introduction does. It sets the stage, provides context and prepares the reader for what's to come. So how do you write a good one? Start with a question. Questions are powerful tools in writing. A question piques the reader's curiosity. It promises an answer. It engages the reader's mind and makes them think. It makes them want to keep reading. They become invested in finding out the answer. For example, if you're writing about the benefits of meditation, your section intro might look like this. Feeling stressed and overwhelmed? You're not alone. This simple question immediately connects with the reader's emotions. Millions of people struggle with anxiety every day. This statement provides context and shows the reader that their feelings are valid and shared by many. But what if there was a simple, natural way to find calm amidst the chaos? See how that works? The question suggests a solution and creates anticipation. The question draws the reader in and then you can smoothly transition into discussing meditation as a solution. This transition is crucial for maintaining the reader's interest, but don't leave them hanging. Make sure to follow through with the promise you made in your introduction. Answer the question before moving on to the next section. This builds trust with your reader and keeps them engaged. Explain how meditation can help alleviate stress and provide a sense of peace. Go into detail about the benefits and how it can be incorporated into daily life. What are some of your favorite ways to transition between ideas in your writing? Transitions are the glue that holds your narrative together. Share your thoughts in the comments. Engaging with your readers can provide new insights and ideas for your writing. Remember, a well-crafted section introduction not only sets the stage, but also invites the reader to join you on a journey. It's the doorway to the next exciting part of your narrative. So take the time to craft intros that shine and watch how they transform your writing into a cohesive and compelling story. Happy writing. Not all questions are created equal. A good question is relevant to the topic at hand. It's thought-provoking. It might even challenge the reader's assumptions, and it always makes them want to learn more. Let's say you're writing about the importance of exercise. Instead of asking a bland question like, do you exercise, try something more engaging. What if you could add years to your life and feel more energetic every day? The answer might be simpler than you think. See the difference? The second question is more specific, more intriguing. It hints at the benefits of exercise without giving everything away. And of course, you'll want to answer the question fully and clearly before moving on. Have you ever read an article that left you with more questions than answers? Share your experiences in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Section 4. Calls to Action. Turning Readers into Participants. Have you ever finished a great book and felt a little lost? That feeling of wanting to stay immersed in the world the author created is something many of us have experienced. It's a testament to the power of storytelling and the connection it fosters between the reader and the narrative. Like you wanted to stay in that world a little longer? This desire to remain engaged can be harnessed by writers and content creators through effective calls to action. These calls to action serve as bridges, guiding readers from passive consumption to active participation. A call to action is like offering your reader a map back to that world. It provides them with a clear path to continue their journey, to delve deeper into the subject matter, 
or to share their own experiences and insights. It could be as simple as asking them to leave a comment, share the article, or answer a question. These small actions can significantly enhance engagement and create a sense of community among your readers. You can also use surveys to gather feedback and encourage interaction. Surveys are a fantastic way to understand your audience better and to make them feel valued and heard. For instance, you could write, what are your go-to stress-busting techniques? This not only invites readers to share their thoughts, but also provides valuable content for others who might be looking for new ideas. Share your tips in the comments below. Encouraging readers to comment can lead to rich discussions and a deeper connection with your audience. Or, we're curious to know more about your reading habits. Understanding your readers' preferences can help tailor future content to better meet their needs and interests. Take our quick survey and let us know what you think. Surveys can be a quick and easy way for readers to provide feedback, making them feel more involved in the content creation process. Calls to action are a powerful way to keep the conversation going, even after the reader has finished your piece. They extend the life of your content and keep your audience engaged. They transform passive readers into active participants. This transformation is crucial for building a loyal and engaged community around your content. What are some of the most effective calls to action you've seen? Reflecting on successful examples can provide inspiration and ideas for your own content. Share your examples in the comments. By sharing and discussing, we can all learn and improve our engagement strategies together. Remember, the goal is to create a space where readers feel connected and valued. When readers become participants, they are more likely to return, share your content, and become advocates for your work. Whether it's through comments, surveys, or social media interactions, every call to action is an opportunity to deepen the relationship with your audience. So don't hesitate to invite your readers to take that next step. In conclusion, turning readers into participants is not just about engagement metrics. It's about building a community. A community that feels heard, valued, and connected to the content you create. So what are you waiting for? Start incorporating calls to action in your content today and watch your community grow. Section 5. Wrapping it up. Leaving a lasting impression. In this final section, we delve into the art of crafting a conclusion that not only wraps up your piece neatly, but also leaves a lasting impact on your reader. A well-crafted conclusion is like the final note in a symphony, resonating long after the music has stopped. Just like a good meal leaves you feeling satisfied, a strong conclusion should leave your reader with a sense of closure. It's that feeling of contentment, knowing that the journey you've taken them on has reached a meaningful end. But a great conclusion does more than just tie up loose ends. It should also spark further contemplation. Think of it as planting a seed in the reader's mind, one that will grow and flourish long after they've finished reading. This lingering thought can be the catalyst for deeper reflection or even inspire action. One effective way to do this is to end with a thought-provoking question. Questions have a unique power to engage the reader's mind, prompting them to think more deeply about the topic. It's like opening a door to further exploration. This could be related to the main topic or a broader theme you explored. For instance, if your article was about the importance of creativity, you might ask, how will you harness your creative potential today? This not only reinforces the main message, but also encourages the reader to apply what they've learned. The key is to leave your reader pondering your words long after they've finished reading. This lingering effect can transform a simple article into a memorable experience. It's about creating a connection that extends beyond the page. For example, you could conclude an article about creativity with, so what will you create today? The possibilities are endless. This not only wraps up your piece, but also leaves the reader with a sense of excitement and potential. Or, if you're writing about personal growth, the journey of self-discovery never truly ends, does it? This type of question invites the reader to reflect on their own experiences and consider their ongoing journey. What steps will you take today to continue your own evolution? This encourages the reader to think about actionable steps they can take, 
making your writing not just informative but also transformative. And don't forget to encourage further engagement. Inviting your readers to share their thoughts or experiences can create a sense of community and dialogue. Invite your readers to share their thoughts in the comments or participate in a related survey. This not only extends the conversation but also provides valuable feedback and insights. The more you can foster a sense of community and conversation, the more impactful your writing will be. Engaging with your readers in this way can turn a solitary reading experience into a shared journey. What are some of your favorite ways to end an essay or article? Sharing your own techniques can inspire others and create a rich